Dear students, now we are going to prove circular time shift property and circular frequency shift property of DF. Let's start with circular time shift property. If discrete Fourier transform of a sequence x of n is equal to x of k, then discrete Fourier transform of the circularly time shifted signal x of n minus n naught mod n is equal to x of k multiplied with e power minus j 2 pi k n naught by n. So here this double bracket represents the circular shift. n is the mod value. So number of samples. Here we are going to shift the signal n towards right with the value n naught. For this time shifted signal, the frequency domain signal is multiplied with the exponential term e power minus j 2 pi k n naught. Okay, so here we are going to multiply this frequency domain signal with the exponential term e power minus j 2 pi k n naught by n. This is called circular time shift property of DFT. Let's prove this property. So here we are going to consider the inverse discrete Fourier transform of the signal x of k. So here inverse discrete Fourier transform of x of k is represented as x of n. That formula is x of n is equal to 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power plus j 2 pi k n by capital N where the small n varies from 0 to n minus 1. So in the next step, we are going to substitute the time shifted signal with n naught. So now we are going to shift the time domain signal with the value n naught. So here this can be written as x of double bracket of n minus n naught mod n. That is equal to 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1. This equation becomes x of k e power j 2 pi k n is replaced with n minus n naught. Okay. So here it is k into n minus n naught divided by n. So in the next step we are going to multiply this exponential term inside this bracket. Then we can get 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power j 2 pi k n n. So we are multiplying this term inside this bracket. So here it is j2 pi k n by n multiplied with e power minus. Here it is minus right. So minus j2 pi k n naught by n. From this expression this term that is 1 by n summation k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of k e power j2 pi k n by n. So this looks like a inverse discrete Fourier transform. We can replace this term okay, as x of n. It is nothing but the formula of inverse discrete Fourier transform that can be written as x of n and the remaining, remaining term is e power minus j2 pi k n naught by n. So now we are going to take DFT on both sides. So here we are going to take DFT on both sides then DFT of x of n minus n naught mod n is equal to this side DFT of x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n. As we know that DFT of x of n is nothing but x of k correct. So we can write DFT of x of n as x of k. This term is independent of this small n. There is no small n term right n naught is there that is the constant value okay. Since it is independent of n we can take this as a common one or a constant one. So this term can be written as x of k into e power minus j 2 pi k n naught by n. So from this we come to know that if the time of a sequence is circularly shifted with the value n naught then the frequency domain signal is multiplied with the exponential term along with this n naught that is given like this. Similarly, we can obtain the time shifted signal in the opposite side. 
if i am going to shift the signal like this that is x of n plus n not instead of minus n not if we are having plus n not so we can obtain the value as x of k multiplied with e power plus j 2 pi k n not by n finally the circular time shift property is proved the next property is circular frequency shift property if dft of the sequence x of n is equal to x of k then the discrete fourier transform of x of n multiplied with e power j 2 pi l n by n is equal to x of k minus l mod n so here l represents the frequency parameter so now we are going to prove this property the dft of the sequence x of n is given as x of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n where the k value varies from 0 to n minus 1 this is the formula of discrete Fourier transform so next we are going to shift the frequency domain signal circularly with the value l so here this frequency domain signal is circularly shifted with the value l so this expression becomes x of k minus l mod n so this double bracket represents the circularly shifting operation so here that is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi this k becomes k minus l correct here this k becomes k minus l into n divided by capital n in the next step we are going to multiply this exponential term inside this bracket then we can obtain summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k into n divided by n here it is minus here it is minus so minus into minus plus so here e power plus j 2 pi l n by capital n from this expression we come to know that this term that is summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi k n by n it looks like a dft formula correct it is nothing but dft formula so this term can be written as x of k x of k represents the dft of x of n so we can write this term as x of k into e power j 2 pi l n by n in the next term we can replace this x of k with the formula dft of x of n so x of k minus l mod n is equal to dft of x of n multiplied with e power j 2 pi ln by n so hence the property circular frequency shift is proved